had a few reservations about cider. The famous cider dress. Lord help my self-confidence. Cider win with the cargoes. You could wear this to most things. Maybe not a funeral. I don't know what I was thinking. Feels a little bit thin and a little bit rubbish. So not my usual style. My overall verdict. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First of all, I wanna say, if you feel like I should have ironed this shirt, I'm really sorry. I feel like I should have ironed it as well. But never mind, here we are. I'm sure you can look past a few creases. In today's video, I thought I would test out cider. Not the drink, although I am partial to a strawberry and lime. The clothing brand that I'm sure a lot of you will have had come up on your Facebook ads, your Instagram ads. I've had these ads come up for the longest time now. I've always kind of looked at their stuff, looked on the app and liked it, but never actually taken the plunge until now so i want to test it all out for you i haven't done a clothing haul in the longest time because to be honest i don't really buy a lot of clothes in bulk anymore i had a few reservations about cider so first of all i'd heard people say that it's not the cheapest but the quality is like sheen or sheen however you pronounce it so i was a little bit like okay well, that's not off to a great start. Then people said the return process was really difficult. So I thought, well, am I gonna take this plunge? What if the quality is bad when it arrives and then I can't return it? And the third thing people said is that the shipping took a really long time. So I'm gonna let you know my honest opinions. This video isn't sponsored or gifted or anything like that. I have literally paid for this stuff myself with my own hard earned cash. So the first thing for me is that the shipping actually wasn't bad. A lot of you guys on Instagram said that it took between two and three weeks for your cider orders to arrive. I placed my order on the 24th of May and it arrived on the 31st so it literally took seven days from order to doorstep maybe I was just lucky in the fact that everything I ordered was in stock I didn't have to wait for anything you know like sometimes they do like pre-orders but they don't tell you I don't know if Cider do that but yeah everything arrived within a week when the package arrived not gonna lie it looked a bit questionable I'll insert a photo here. Um, the plastic bag was wrapped in so much sellotape. This bag looked indestructible. It had the strength of a Nokia brick phone. But I thought I'm not gonna judge just yet. So I've opened it up. I've got everything laid out in front of me. I've tried some of it on, but not all of it. And let's get started. So the first item that I picked out, I feel like if you've had a cider ad pop up, you have seen this dress. To be fair, if you've got TikTok, you've seen this dress. If cider was one item, it would be this. And it's not really my usual style, but I thought, how can I not try it? It is the gray knitted midi dress. Comes in two parts, so it's got a slit up the thigh, which I didn't actually realize when I ordered it. I didn't look at it too much, to be honest with you. It also comes with the little shoulder shawl thing to go over your shoulders. It's got the sleeves. This looks like a long scarf, to be fair multi-purpose but the reason i wouldn't normally buy this is because it's a very fitted dress it's very bodycon and to be honest with you a ruler has more curve than i do so i just don't tend to go for a bodycon dress i need something around the waist to partition me you know 28 pounds 90 i feel like this would be lovely for a barbecue perfect in the daytime and then when it gets a bit chilly in the evening you've got the shoulder thing we'll see how much i like it on lord help my self-confidence is all I'll say. Okay, this is the dress on. I'm not gonna lie, I don't feel comfortable in this. Do you know what is the side split? It's so high, any gust of wind, and it's gonna be a Marilyn moment that no one wants to see. And it doesn't matter how you stand either. I also feel like it needs to be more like around the side. <laughs> a bit lower do you know what i mean i mean it does give a little bit of shape but i think that's just because it's so figure hugging let me know what you think in the comments down below but please keep any brutal opinions to yourself because i'm a sensitive soul i managed to get one good instagram photo but in reality she's too much of a liability for me the famous cider dress she's not staying moving on to the next item honestly i've been looking for a pair of linen trousers for the longest time but i feel like they're always quite see-through just because of the nature of the material but i thought you know what if i'm doing a bulk order now's the time to try them so i found a pair on cider and honestly i'm in love with these i've already worn these i wore them to a barbecue last weekend i'll insert a photo of them here and i'm not gonna lie they are a little bit see-through but i just wore like a nude color thong underneath and it was absolutely fine but when i tried it on with a pair of black granny pants you could see them so bear that in mind but other than that they are such nice quality they're really nice and long but they're not overly long they're the perfect length on me and i'm about five foot six forgot to say i got the last dress in a size medium and i got these in a size small i'm a uk size 10 for reference. 
Um, but yeah, these trousers, absolutely love them. They did come with this little belt, um, which feels a little bit cheap, not gonna lie. The metal and everything, but it is a nice color. It's a nice shade of brown. These were 17 pounds 90, and they are honestly giving such H&M vibes. I feel like if H&M was selling these, they would definitely be more than that. They've got pockets. All in all, they're quite a thick material. I'm pleased with them. I'm not gonna lie. I wore them on Sunday at a barbecue. It's now Wednesday, right? They've been in the washing machine and I think they've shrunk a little bit. They are like, I feel like they're a little bit too short now, but there is like a seam around the bottom. So there is room for my mum, bless her soul, to make them a little bit longer. But I do think, I don't know. I feel like I don't remember them being that short. I'll have to look at the pictures from Sunday, but anyway, I still really like them. I've got the belt that they come with on. It is a nice belt. I take back what I say. It's not the best quality, but it's a nice color. I like that it's quite thin. All in all, I still rate the linen trousers, even if they have lost a couple of centimeters. I might as well do the little trouser section first, because I've got a few pairs of jeans. These are not my style. To be honest, I don't know what I was thinking. These were another one that kept coming up on my Facebook ad. You know when you can scroll through and you see like a few of their items, these were always in the first place. So I felt like maybe they're calling to me, they want to be in my life for summer, I'll give them a chance. These are giving Balamori. Are they not? I mean, I do like them. I'm not rinsing them because I think they're really cute. Obviously I've bought them. In the picture, they look adorable. Also in the picture, I thought the flowers were embroidered. They're actually kind of like printed on they're like a little bit plasticky you know which does put me off a little bit i'm gonna see how they fit they've got yeah they've got flowers all the way down them only on the front though the back are plain i like the idea of them and i think on some people these would look so lovely i can really imagine them i just don't know now they're here in my life whether they'll be staying again i got them in a size small and they were 27 pounds so that's really not bad for a pair of jeans if you think about it and the quality feels great obviously i wasn't expecting the flowers to be plastic i don't know how that would wash to be fair i have never been more conflicted about a clothing item in my life oh i really need your help in the comments with these jeans please guys i'm gonna actually wait to do the side of return until this video has gone live because i want to see your comments i am so undecided i've just put in my group chat i've texted my boyfriend's sister because she's like young <laughs> she's just turned 20 so if i ever need opinions like if something's absolutely vile i ask her she likes them my group chat don't like them i've just posted an instagram story with a pulse i'm gonna see what you guys say on that but do you know what i think is swaying me is the fact that i've never had a pair of jeans that fits this well before when i tell you round the waist they're perfect the length they're perfect the positioning of this flower is a little bit questionable, but I think I can look past that. They're so not my usual style because I just don't wear like bold, colorful items like this. Please let me know what you think. They do fit lovely, they feel lovely, but I can't decide if I look like I'm eight years old or not. Let me know your honest opinions. The next pair of jeans I got are a very different vibe, but such good value for money, I think. So these are a pair of denim ripped wide leg jeans they've just got a few rips like nothing too drastic you know i'm not really a massive ripped jean kind of person i just don't think i'm cool enough especially for the ones with like a massive hole in but these ones little rip on the knee bob's your uncle and they feel really soft for denim as well i actually got these ones in a size medium these were 23 pounds 90 i think that's so good for a pair of jeans right i've come to the conclusion that if you're a uk size 10 the medium jeans from cider are literally perfect they fit so well but these ones gutted because they are too short for me these they're like a really awkward length they're only just too short which i'm really sad about but i feel like they need to be too long rather than too short for this style oh i'm so gutted because honestly everything about these jeans is perfect they feel so soft they're a really nice denim i love the rips I just wish they were that little bit longer. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to return these ones. But if you're any shorter than five foot six, I think they would be absolutely fine. The last pair of jeans that I picked up are a pair that I've been trying to find for such a long time. It's a pair of black denim cargoes. I love how cargoes look, but they just don't suit me when they're like that material. <laughs> when they're that material, as if they're all not made from material. Do you know what I mean though? When they're that like nylon-y material, I think. When it's not denim, they don't do anything for me. I have the world's flattest bum to the point where it's almost inverted and cargoes, they're just a no-go. They really highlight that. But when they're denim, it's basically like a pair of wide leg jeans with pockets on the side, right? And I can get on board with that. So I've been looking for a nice quality pair of black 
black ones and I found them on Cider. I've tried these on already because I was going to wear them out last night. They are really nice quality. They fit me really well. They've got the pockets on the legs. They've got like a little silver button which I'm not mad about but whatever. I like the vibe anyway. They're very casual and these were, how much were you? £24. I got these in a size medium too and they fit great. I am obsessed with these cargoes they're so comfy these jeans are a little bit um baggy around the waist actually i feel like i could probably do with a belt if i wanted to wear them a little bit high waisted but they just naturally sit kind of like just on my belly button which is fine i mean i'll probably wear cargoes with quite a casual outfit probably an oversized t-shirt i don't know though i do quite like this with it these feel such lovely quality if you're looking for a pair of denim cargoes cider are the ones they're the best ones i've found they're actually even better than the primark denim cargoes i've got and i love them i want to say they're better than my pull and bear ones as well for me side i win with the cargoes i mentioned the inverted bum with the cargoes before i mean they're not working miracles come on i'm not really providing much to work with but it's not as bad as the cargoes that are just normal material the last pair of trousers i got i have my fingers crossed so tightly that these are gonna fit me right because i haven't tried them on yet but they're a pair of like they're like dark gray flared leggings flared trousers whatever you want to call them i live in this pair of black flared trousers from Gilly Hicks. I think they're called like the recharge yoga legging flare whatever something or other i honestly wear them all the time because they match any vibe you can dress them up you can dress them down they're so comfortable they've got an elasticated waist i thought do you know what let's try a pair from cider and they've got pockets on the side stop it ladies and gents leggings with pockets are such a win so yeah i'm hoping they're gonna fit looking at them i think they might be a little bit short. We'll try, but I got these in size medium and these were only 14 pounds, which is definitely less than the Gilly Hicks ones. I really wanted to love them, but they're just not flaring the way the Gilly Hicks ones flare. They're that kind of like really soft legging material, but I'm having to keep hoiking them up and they're also a little bit too short as it is, which is such a shame. But again, if you're shorter than five foot six, they would be absolutely fine. And to be fair, they are a good dupe for the Gilly Hicks ones. I don't think they're even meant to be, but look at the pockets. They are nice quality. And maybe if you don't mind a little bit of an ankle swinger, they'd be all right, but I think they look too short on me. Next up, we have the reason that this entire video exists. So it was another one of those little features on a Facebook ad, and I've been seeing, even on Instagram and stuff, on my sponsored ads, the cookies were truly working overtime for cider. Their ads were coming up all the time. Mainly, cohorts, matching cohorts, little top, pair of trousers and I originally bought these for the barbecue that I actually wore the linen trousers to but these were a strong contender so these are a pair of blue floaty trousers look at the stretch all the barbecue food is fitting in there they're just wide leg they're flowy they're not too thick they feel perfect for summer and the top to go with them I think these were sold separately but Cider were advertising this pair of trousers with this little crop top with like the ruched side how cute it's just high neck it feels really soft like really nice material and they had both these items in so many colors like a dark green and a slightly lighter green top i got the top in a size small this time and i'm glad because it does look i would say this looks like a medium and this was only six pounds and the trousers i also got in a size small which i think are perfect because there's so much stretch in them and the trousers were 12 pounds 90 so together what an outfit for £18.90. Under 20 quid and it's such a good barbecue outfit. Anyone else just based their entire wardrobe in summer off of barbecues? Unless something could be worn to a barbecue, I'm not buying it between the months of June and August. I actually think I'm going to have to order this outfit in multiple different colours. This is really one of those outfits where if you've got any occasion and you're not really sure what to wear, I honestly think you could wear this to most things. Maybe not a funeral thinking about it dinners barbecues lunches brunches i really think it's one of those outfits where you would never look out of place i love the ruche detailing on the top the trousers are flowy they're comfy they're elasticated they're long enough i'm obsessed it's high neck as well you don't need to wear a strapless bra with it because it comes out far enough so it's going to hide your bra straps oh my gosh i love it so much you can wear them separately, but they're better together. It's like Ant and Dick. Remember that one episode where Dick did Saturday Night Takeaway on his own? It was okay, but it wasn't as good. The duo 
are the best. Right, we're getting through the pile, but next up I have a little zip up hoodie, but this is like a little bit different. So this is a white corset zip up hoodie. It only zips up to here. So it's like tight fitted around the waist and then it goes baggy. I don't really know what I'm gonna wear this with, to be honest with you. I just like it. <laughs> The only thing I will say is that it's quite thin. It hasn't got a fleecy material inside or anything like that. It's not gonna be the warmest, but you know when you just need like a little bit of an extra layer? I got that in a size medium and that was 20 pounds 90. I feel like that's quite expensive for that. Well, in the grand scheme of things, no, but it is thinner than I was expecting it to be. I've just put my Gilly Hicks flares on so you can see a comparison to the last pair of flares. But also I've put my hair up because this outfit is giving me like, Mean Girls, American Mum, just about to go for a run in her perfect American neighbourhood. Do you know what I mean? So it made me laugh when I put this all on. But yeah, this is the hoodie. I do really, really like it. I think it would look nice with the cargoes, actually, the black cargoes. It's comfortable, it's flattering, it's a little light layer to add in the evening without being, like, oversized. If you want something fitted and a little bit warmer just to throw on, this is a really nice option. Next up, we have another classic cider. TikTok item. We're on to the final category, which is tops slash t-shirts. This little crop top, she's square neck. She's like ruched around the bust. I feel like 90% of you watching this video will have seen an ad for this top at some point. But when I've seen it on other people, I think it's such a flattering top. It's so lovely. Again, it comes in loads of colors. I got this in, what color is this called? Gray. <laughs> Could have guessed that. But I feel like you could so easily dress this up for like a meal out. It's giving quite formal, but very comfy. She's size medium, she's eight pounds. You're gonna have to excuse the fact that I haven't got a strapless bra on so you can see my bra under it. I like it and I think it would also be flattering no matter how big or small your boobs are. I don't think it matters because of the ruche detailing, the ruche is like on the boobs. I like the straps as well. They make me feel posh. Square necklines always make me feel posh though. I don't know what it is. I feel like I need to stand up straight when I've got a square neckline on. Next up, we have another little six pound number. This one, black ruched crop top. Love her. It's giving Adenola vibes on the top. I love the like slightly higher neck. I love the material. It's stretchy. I love a ruched waist on a top. I don't know. I just think it's really flattering. Adds a nice bit of detail, but I don't love like really cropped tops. So anything that's a little bit longer with a ruched side chef's kiss from me. It's very casual, but really, really nice quality for six pounds. This is the black t-shirt on. I absolutely love it. It feels really flattering, really easy to wear. I like that it kind of like, hang on, let me move this bag out of the way. The hem kind of like dips down. Do you see that? Where it's ruched, it definitely like comes up a little bit at the sides. The back of it is just like a plain t-shirt crop top. Love it, super easy to wear. I feel like it's a summer wardrobe staple. The material is lovely. Only good things to say about this. It's a win. We're pushing the boat out a little bit because this next top was 11 pounds, but there's a lot more material to be fair. It's like an oversized crop top. Again, we've got ruched detailing. There's such a theme here. I honestly don't really push myself out of my comfort zone. Really wide sleeves would look cute with any trousers, shorts in the summer, little denim shorts. How sweet is that gonna look? Love, love, love this top a million times over. Definitely not the most exciting thing in this haul, I know that, so I'll keep it short. Um, but it's just so easy to wear, the material feels lovely. It's something that you can throw on, I think it's gonna look so cute with blue jeans. Those blue ripped jeans, it would have looked lovely with them. The top of it is boxy and oversized, but then it's still flattering, it's tight fitted around the waist. I don't think I've actually mentioned yet, but in this haul I'll link all of these items in the description down below in case you like anything. Probably should have said that at the start, but here we are. Okay, and the final two tops, I'm gonna do these at the same time because they're exactly the same just in two different colors but i feel like i'm ending on a bit of a debbie downer because i've tried these on and they just don't fit me right and they also feel quite cheap these ones so this little crop top on the picture this looks lovely i just don't think i'm the right shape for it which is a shame and also i just don't like the vibe on as much as i like it in the picture i'm normally a fan of a ruffle sleeve but i just i don't know it makes me feel like i'm about seven when i wear this i don't rate it it was nine pounds 90 and yeah it just feels a little bit thin and a little bit rubbish compared to the other tops to be fair from what people were saying about the cider reviews i was expecting all of the items to be this kind of quality they're definitely not the rest of the stuff is really nice to the point where it made these tops stand out as like oh you don't feel the best. So I got it in white and I also got it in, this is such a nice color, I'm actually gutted. This green, how cute is that? 
I really wish these were one better quality, but also like there's not a lot of material on the back of it. That's not fitting me. I'm 25 this summer. So we'll see what the return process is like. <laughs> Maybe once I've like received the money back, I'll let you know in the comments down below how long it took me to receive the refund and what the process was like. Sorry, love, but you are NFI to my wardrobe. I thought I'd show you what this top looks like on, even though I know I'm not keeping it because it might be helpful. I just feel like it fits me completely wrong. It's kind of got like boob cups you can see there's like a there's stitching here and also it just feels a bit too small the straps feel a bit too like inwards i feel like they should be more like out here also the front is longer than the back so the front it looks okay but then it goes up at the back which i feel like makes your posture look worse than it is just nothing about it is right for me it might be for you i think if you're a little bit more flat chested it would look better the whole thing feels like it's too high up so that's everything that i bought from cider my overall verdict I will be shopping with them again. Um, I'm really impressed at the fact it only took a week. I feel like they've got really unusual bits on there, things that you wouldn't necessarily find on Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo. And also, in my opinion, the things that I picked up, maybe I got lucky, but I feel like the quality is better than Shein, Pretty Little Thing. Generally speaking, I think it's really good. So yeah, that's my very honest cider review. I'm 187 pounds down. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below, have you tried cider before or have you been like I was and you've been not really sure whether to take the plunge or not let me know if this video changes your mind I honestly would recommend it it's probably not the place to shop if you need something last minute um but if you're shopping in advance defo do subscribe to see my future videos but for now I hope you're all having a lovely week and I'll see you again next Sunday with another little video bye guys love ya bye.